This actually started out as a race car part. We started to design this high speed valve system to control the inlet and exhaust um, stream from racing engines. When we started to develop the technology, we had to figure out what kind of flow values. So we started using water as the media. So we started running water through these high speed valves. And they started to make all kinds of crazy noises and, and vibrations. We didn't know, understand what was going on because it looked to us to be a very simple mechanical piece. We discovered we were generating cavitation. The cavitation is the creation of micro bubbles and, and voids in fluids. And as they collapse, they release incredible amounts of energy. The release of that energy can be used to shear fluids, break emulsions, dissolve gases. There's all kinds of wonderful chemistry that we're still exploring around the cavitation sensors and the cavitation reactors. So what we have here is a little 20 gallon a minute uh, bench top unit, the small unit we're gonna do a demonstration with. It's exactly the same mechanically as our big industrial units. One of the questions I had a few minutes ago is how big can we go? Our current units go up to 5,000 liters a minute. So that's about 1,300 gallons a minute. Uh, we can put those together to go up to about 6,000 gallons a minute in a single uh, assembly. Uh, the, the units we've been looking at for the most of customers' needs are somewhere in that uh, 150 to 200 gallon a minute range, and they don't get much bigger than that. They're, they're very small, they have a very small footprint. So what we'd like to do today is, is a couple of very simple demonstrations, and, and don't expect to see clean, clear, crystal water. This process is to do the heavy lifting. This is breaking an emulsion. It's not meant to be a filter. This is meant to take out the really, really, really nasty parts of the water. So when you're talking about things that are uh, uh, nightmares for dairies and breweries and food, uh, fat soils and greases, um, lake water, we're doing big projects down in Florida stripping off phosphorus and nitri nitrates from Lake Apopka and the Harris Chain of Lakes. Uh, we can treat things such as uh, um, uh, caustic soda and sulfur, dissolved sulfurs. This is meant to be the heavy weight of water cleaning. It's designed to break down the emulsion. This takes the front end load off the wastewater treatment plants. This takes the front end load off of, of the plant's requirement to discharge clean water. So this unit we're going to run today is going to start off with some dairy product. We're going to run Greek yogurt. Now Greek yogurt is probably the worst thing in the dairy industry once you get it into your wastewater because it won't come out. They can't filter it, they can't centrifuge it, they can't do anything to get the yogurt out of the water. What we're going to do is take all the proteins and all the fats out of the water. The only thing left is going to be some food coloring, a little bit of sugar. So we should go from brilliant white um, water to uh, translucent gray. But on the top, we should have uh, all the yogurt, all the fats and the proteins should be removed. Then we're going to move over to some uh, manure. And we've ran manure in, in Canada. Actually, we had uh, several runs with this material before. The amazing thing is, not only does it completely homogenize it, it can break it down and it can take all the odors away. And the odors won't return until the material starts to digest and break down again. So it kills all the mercaptans, it takes off all of the uh, uh, H2S, hydrogen sulfide gas, uh, breaks it down and neutralizes the odor. I th I've heard that's important. <laughs> see, see how that works. Um, so I'd like to kind of get going with this, but I'm willing to, to explain every detail. This unit was built with the cavitation reactor right out in the open. We didn't want anybody coming to us and saying, well, it's going in this side and coming out that side. What's going on underneath? This unit is designed so you can see every moving part. And if you want to see inside, you can walk around the back, take a look inside. Uh, all that's underneath is a drive motor and a pump. The, the actual uh, reactor and all of its control systems are sitting right up on top, and you can get a good look at everything. And I'll even walk through all the programs with you if you'd like. <laughs> 